do my students communicate with each other online? A recent education study looked at content retention of students learning material through a variety of instructional methods. They found students who just received a lecture retained less than 10% of the material they were shown, whereas students who discussed the material with each other retained about half of what they were shown, and students who taught the material to someone else retained almost 90% of the material. These differences in learning were striking. While this study may not have used the exact material from your discipline, it still gives you something to think about in planning how you will have your students interact with your course material. Let's now answer the question, why is student peer communication important in an online course? In the study we have just seen, we saw that students who discuss and teach each other may have a higher retention rate than students learning only through lectures and readings. Discussion also increases student engagement in the course. Students who interact with their peers tend to feel more a part of the course and are more interested and excited in working on the material. Discussion can build a sense of community in the class. If a student feels they are part of a community of learners, rather than working in isolation, they are often more motivated to work hard and engage with the course material. Discussion can prepare students for communication skills necessary for careers in your field. It is important to have students practice talking and writing about material in your field using appropriate terminology, since most careers require some level of interpersonal communication. Peer communication also allows students to get multiple perspectives on the content. Students may have different thoughts and views on the material or relevant life experiences. In some courses and fields, this is important to the course success. Finally, it has been found that communicating with students in the course positively affects their perceived learning and satisfaction in what they are learning. An online course student said of their class, I really liked the weekly discussion board topics. It was neat to see what other students were thinking. Other people's responses to my posts really helped me improve my thinking. Chances are, this is something you would love to hear from your students in your class. Now that you hopefully believe student communication is an important part of an online class, how do you select the appropriate communication for your course? The first thing to think about is whether you want them to communicate synchronously or asynchronously. This means, do you want students to talk to each other in real time, or can they post chats and respond to each other at a later time? Another thing to think about is if you're going to be grading that student communication, or is it going to be informal and ungraded? Is the discussion going to be structured or unstructured? Are you going to have a particular prompt or assignment for the students to respond to? Or are you just going to give them space to chat about whatever they want to chat about related to your course? Are you going to be monitoring or looking at the student communication? Or is this going to be an informal opportunity for them to interact without your oversight? A few extra things to consider depending on your field. You may want to think about whether typing is the appropriate communication means. For some, notation is very important to your field, such as math, chemistry, and engineering. You may find you need students to have the ability to write things by hand or have some other symbolic interface. You should also consider whether you want students interacting with audio or video in your course. With both of these, you need to ensure that students have access to the needed technologies. You want to decide early if a microphone or webcam is required. In general, you want to make sure all aspects of the course, including the communication, is accessible to the students. What sorts of options are there available for student communication in your course? One option is an unstructured discussion board. These are very easy to add to most courses. Within your learning management system, there is often some sort of discussion board available that you can just open up for your students to talk about what they want to in an unstructured, ungraded environment. Perhaps the most common type of communication in online courses are prompted discussion boards. This means the instructor leaves some sort of prompt or assignment that the students must complete, and they may even be required to respond to each other. Other options include online study groups, group work assignments, live webcasts, video lecture tagging, 
this is something you'll want to talk to your instructional designer about. Here are a few final tips for designing your online student communication. If it is graded, you should give clear guidelines on what you expect and a rubric for how that discussion will be graded. Related to this, you may want to monitor the discussion early on in the course and give feedback so the students know they're on the right track. Are they giving enough depth and insight in their posts? Are they using appropriate terminology? It is easy in most learning management systems to use the length and number of posts as a component of the discussion grade, but you probably also want to make a check for quality. If you do this early, you do not have to monitor the discussions as carefully as the course goes on, and students have a clear expectation of how they're being graded and evaluated. Another tip, an open discussion board with no set structure is a great way for students to answer each other's logistical questions. This is particularly valuable with a large class in which you may not be able to quickly respond to students' questions via email. Students can use the forum to answer logistics questions for each other, and any responses you might post will be available to all the students to see, so you don't have to answer the question multiple times. A final tip, you can work with an instructional designer to identify available technologies appropriate to your communication in your course. Instructional designers can be a great source of where to find technologies your campus has and any discipline-specific technologies your course might need.